apprécié ma modeste participation dans votre action au profit du service public. Non, là, c'est à titre personnel et pas du tout dans le cadre du service public. Merci pour votre contribution. Teddy Bonjour. <rire> tu es en avance mm -hmm. Eric s'est gentiment proposé pour me raccompagner. Ne crois-tu pas que c'est à Lance que revient cet honneur Lance m'a envoyé ici. Je n'ai pas besoin de lui pour en sortir. Allez, viens, Mélissa. C'est terminé maintenant. Allons-y. Yeah, well, the gift shops in the county jail have the worst selections, don't they? Which is why I didn't get you anything either. Mm. Well, there's always my birthday, Craig. Mm. So, what are the two of you doing for Christmas? Well, that depends on you. <clears throat> I'm spending Christmas with my family. Well, that's good. That's good. Christmas is a time for family. Of course, Bobby and I don't have those kind of attachments and not being married or anything. You were just on your way out, were you, Craig? I am now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, Kelly, I'll drop by tomorrow, and uh, we can get started on that uh, igloo. Thank you for the seashell house, Craig. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a good Christmas Eve. You too. Good night. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives.
you think where he is? Gone. Edmund, I'm sorry. Yes. I think Maria died. And I died too. towards the rocks and uh, I jumped off just before it did and luckily the current was working in my favor so but how did you get here I picked him up on the side of the road has he seen a doctor yet oh, I don't need to see a doctor uh, oh yes you do Aiden no, you listen, really should I'm fine really I'm a little bit waterlogged but I'll survive Derek the uh, police ID the body yet I can tell you that man was yeah Derek. I know you said it was a guy by the name of Evan Flanders he was an informant for the feds see the same man Maddie saw in the park oh yes you recognized him right away I can Help you ID the body if you need me to, Derek. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Look, um, as a parent myself, I really hate asking you this, but it would be extremely helpful if Maddie could identify the body. Derek, no way. Sorry, no Derek. way. She's no, been no, through so question. much. I don't I like it any more than you do, but we have to be absolutely sure that the man from the boat and the man from the park are one and the same. This man has a record as long as my own. <clears throat> We'd be able to trace him. How about we get a picture and uh, show Maddie the picture and she can ID him that way? Why didn't I think of that? Good man, mate. Why don't you come on with me to the morgue? Hey, just give me a minute, Derek. We're right with you. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Thank you. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I never get to thank you. Thank, thank me for what? You risked your life for that little girl in there. Mm. She's safe because of you. She's gonna be okay. Mm. I think about what might happen to her. She's my, she's my daughter, Edmund. She's our child. It's very nice. Aiden, you're here! Hello, bugaboo. What are you doing? A band man threw me off the boat. A mommy had to jump in after oh, me. I know. You've had quite an adventure, haven't you? How is she, Joe? She sounds good. Her lungs are clear. 
No fever. Ah, oh, thank God. Good, good. Hey, you know what, Sweet Pea? Um, Lieutenant Fry has a picture that he wants you to take a look at, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, Maddie. I'm wondering, can you tell me if this is the man from the park? Mommy, that's him. I know. I know, sweetheart. And you know what? Listen to me. Listen, listen. He cannot hurt you anymore. He's gone. Okay? Do you understand? Thank you, sweetie. I'll be in touch. Daddy? Yes, sir. He can't hurt me again, right? Because he's dead. He is very, very dead. He's not going to hurt anybody anymore. But Mommy died when her plane blew up, and she came back. What happened to Mommy was, was different, sweetheart. Because she was never really gone, she just forgot who she was. Hey, Joe, can we, can we take her home now? As long as you keep an eye on her, I don't see why not. Aiden, I want to check you out. Uh, that's, that's fine, it's not necessary. No, 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 I insist. To... No, I want Aiden to come home with us. Okay, I think that's a great idea. <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you what. We'll let Dr. Joe check him out, and we'll wait for him, and then we'll all go home together, okay? Are you sure, Evan? Yeah. Okay, let's get this done so we can get money home. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Right. I need to Bring her upstairs. Okay. Now he's out like a light. Aiden, you're welcome to spend the night if you like it. Thanks. It's nice of you, but I'll be fine. Uh, you stay. Maddie would love to see you in the morning when she wakes up. I'll catch you tomorrow or something. And what you uh, what you did for my family, for my daughter. Put your life in the line, and I won't forget that. I'll do it again. Good night. Good night. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You sure? our babies and I see you you're so gentle and you're so patient with them and you you put them first no matter what and you I just I just understand now I understand yeah I understand why you did everything that you did to try to get me to remember them to try to get me to, to remember you and I see at the time I just thought you were being selfish but I didn't I didn't realize, tonight, when I thought that I lost Maddie, my whole world changed. You just realized you would do anything for her. Just like you. You just asked Aiden to spend the night because you thought it would make Maddie feel more safe. He saved your life. He saved Maddie's life. Right now, that's all that matters, nothing else. Edmund. Wait, 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 no, no, um... I just want you to stay there. I just want to look at you. I just want to look at you. I've got something I have to tell you. I asked you to dance first that night at Hal's. And the first time that you kissed me, we were sitting on my couch in my apartment. I remember one time I got I got sick and you came over, you decided you were gonna play doctor and you, you brought over this little toy doctor bag that you bought from the pharmacy from like the drugstore. And 
when we went to go pick out wedding rings, you led me into the jewelry store blindfolded. And that first morning of our second honeymoon, <laughs> you, you bought me this beautiful pearl necklace. And I remember that we, we, ate, um, we ate blueberries and poached eggs. Um, at Maddie's christening, we had pink roses and baby's breath. Thank <laughs> you. 